let's make a new exercise in SOLIDWORKS so this is a requested example by someone all dimensions are in millimeter for educational purpose material copper burnished copper just zoom in 450 by 300 is the dimension and the thickness of this 70 millimeter you will see here then there is one small cutout 120 60 the angle 30 and center distance 150 so we will cut this throughout top plane sketch now activate center rectangle okay smart dimension now this side i am going to allocate 300 and the vertical bottom one 450 now exit isometric view go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature from start condition we will keep same direction one the end condition we will keep blind because the arrow moving to upward so this is what we want 70 millimeter and rest we will keep as it is see deactivate real graphics now here we want to make a hole a sketch activate line tool now make sure the lines are horizontal okay now make one center line center line from the center of let's up to connect connect to this center line to the upper line horizontal now let's make one important relation hold shift key select these two outer edges and center one and you will see if you leave shift key you will see this option make symmetric A smart dimension 120 angle 60 degree now the vertical distance 30 millimeter okay now one more distance from here to outer edge it's 150 now activate extruded cut feature and here start condition same but end condition we will make through all if you rotate see how it is trimmed now let's make this upper part this thickness you will see 58 now this corner radius you will see here 50 millimeter radius okay and then this portion also 160 millimeter and 20 millimeter thick we have to create this corner radius you will see 60 and this is 180 now look this center to center distance 300 150 from center line and uh, width 150 see center distance 75 millimeter from the center now select this face sketch activate corner rectangle Now select this one for construction, A smart dimension <coughs> 300 and the vertical one 150. Now activate circle. Now let me draw here circles, two circles. Now select both the circle, make relation equal. Just hold shift key, select both the circle and leave shift key and you will see this option equal. Here select three point arc, connect this arc to this, leave somewhere here, right click exit. Now select the arc and circle, hold shift key and leave shift key, make tangent. Similarly hold shift key, select these two arcs and leave shift key and you will see this pop up option make tangent. Okay, let me define this. Radius 50 means 50 into 2, it's going to be 100. These 180. Okay. Now I am going to draw one horizontal line because I want to mirror this. So click mirror entity. Now here choose mirror in mirror entity. I am going to select this all. Make sure you selected copy, select this line, okay. Now again activate three point arc, 
connect from here to here now hold shift key select circle and arc tangent relation similarly circle and arc tangent relation A smart dimension these radius 60 mm now this is also i want to mirror so again draw one horizontal vertical line A smart entity mirror entity select this one copy make sure you selected copy mirror of line or mirror about select this line say okay and look our drawing is fully defined there are too many lines so i am not going to trim any line okay extrude now let me select in at the bottom you will see selected contour over because there are more than one close profile so i am going to select one by one all this close profile first select circle then the middle one start condition same end condition blind and you here we have to put 58 the width make sure you selected if you uncheck this one this become a new body say okay now if you see here solid bodies here only one bodies if you unselect the merge entities it it be, here you will see two bodies a sketch now select convert entity see these all lines are converted okay draw one more line okay let's activate trim entity power trim press and hold left mouse and drag which line you want to trim just drag over the line see now we have a close profile make one center line hold shift key select both the outer line then select center line and leave shift key you will see this pop up option symmetric smart dimension 160 activate extruded boss base feature start condition same end condition blind depth 20 mm make sure we selected merge okay here we go now let's create this part this is a half circle you will see radius 50 and distance already shown 150 so let's do this this is located at the center of this corner so i am going to select this face sketch activate circle and draw one circle a smart dimension 50 okay exit now activate here plane for plane i am going to select the center point of this circle and select second reference i am going to choose this one now see a parallel plane is created okay a sketch activate three point arc now draw one arc now select this center point of arc and this line hold shift key and leave center mark one fifty is the diameter so one fifty divide by two become the radius for this now this is fully defined sketch exit go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature now here here first you have to choose define the things which you want i am going to select a sketch profile because i already created both these sketches first circle this is the circle by default path already selected guide curve we don't need in options just simply choose follow path so it will blindly follow the path show preview merge result say okay right plane mirror entity see here plane already selected feature i am going to select this you will see the preview say okay click and hide the plane 
now see this is what uh, we want to create even though right click edit material and this is going to be copper apply close even let me activate real view and from here i want to change appearance so go to metal copper and i'm going to apply burnished copper okay that's it looks perfect so this is a, the simple exercise i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching